Welcome back, everybody, here to the wonderful world of the Dota 2 Championship League. I'm your host, W1. And I'm the Capitalist. And we are here for game number four of our best of five series, where the third place battle is underway between Team Sigma as well as Team Liquid. Let's get ourselves over straight into the game, because we've already been uh, going quite smoothly through our grid, through our bracket, through, uh, through our drafts and everything else. It's been rather fast games too, Cap. You must really be happy for that. Yeah, let's be. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's quick been like pace. Twenty minutes, thirty you minutes. No, no, minutes. stretching this out for watching twenty minutes of farming going on while one team tries to secure themselves like the largest advantage known to Dota man, and then throwing it all away. But that's a different topic. Sigma versus Team Liquid, though. Short, fast-paced games that uh, seem to end by the twenty-five minute mark, or at least be pretty well determined by at least twenty minutes um, who the victor is going to be. And we look to see a pretty fast game uh, again as Alchemist, Storm Spirit, Elder Titan, and Slark all banned out. Crystal Maiden is first pick from Sigma, but uh, Team Liquid respond with the Visage and the Marana. That's the really big thing that makes me think this is going to be a fast game as well. Yeah, it's just going to be like full on, like, just get in there, be aggressive. We could look at the other kind of uh, angle of this where it's like TC going. Uh, and of Midas, top lane, I'll go Desolator, I'll go Fades Boots, I'll go like Drums, and then I'll think about killing something after I finish up my BKB, of course. Uh, yeah, that could be the possibility coming out from, from, uh, from Liquid. But Sigma, they go with something which they always use in combination with the Marana. And this time, they're just taking him anyway. And it's going to be Bane as well as Crystal Maiden. I'm wondering what they're really trying to set up for here. What they really need to do here is ban out the Rubik for Sigma. Um, it not only is it a key support to run with Visage, it's a very, very powerful support duo, but it's also a really great setup for Marana. So they may have picked the Bane, but there's still other options like Shadow Demon and Rubik. Rubik is really the key support that, uh, in my mind, definitely need to lock out. Yeah. Yeah, if, if, they, get, if they get that Aristotle and if they get... Um well, that would be the nice way for Sigma to go, but then you have to have to look at solo mid Rubik's. I know what you're talking about. Fiend's Grip, can't let it, can't let it be stolen. Don't let it be there. Uh, also, Clockwork, Long Range, Hookshot. Another way to stop that Bane from doing his thing. And Timbersaw's going to be the focus here from TC. So he can start looking at all the cores of Team Sigma, mainly the off laners. If he starts to bend out against the middle laners, he's going to start to restrict himself. But he's probably looking at the main heroes that could be, um, or could escape the gank of Visage Marana plus one. That would be basically it, because they don't have they don't have a lockdown stunner yet. That's one thing for Team Liquid. Like, it's just going to be an aggressive tri lane from Liquid. Then you got to have Visage, Marana, plus a controller. Like that's the Rubik you were talking about would work perfectly for Liquid. Uh, but something beyond that, who knows? They could look at SDs. They could look at something else. Yeah, I mean they're beginning to go into the bonus time of Sigma. To me, it's not really uh, that difficult. Again, Rubik, really, really powerful here, but apparently they have uh, some thoughts, maybe some interesting questions in their heads. But what they've done so far is secured themselves a strong laning support and a strong mid to late game support in Bane. You can look for maybe some combos, uh, potentially dual lanes as well is an option Team out of them. Turn to ban. But uh, they're going to go for the Shadow Demon ban over the Rubik here, which is a combo here with Marana, and it's deadly, but Rubik has been much more popular in the past. Um, not to say that the Shadow Demon, like especially with the recent buff to Marana, being able to get that extra 100 damage remaining. is actually a big increase with the Shadow Demon combo because we're also talking about the extra damage being thrown down Team from Soul Catcher, meaning that extra 100 actually turns into an extra 150. So that's... I, I like that band, but at the same time, uh, Rubik is a more popular pick in general right now. Yeah. And give me my partner. Give me my partner back. I know he's not going to fit perfectly in here. No. SK pickup team pick. from Team Liquid. All right. Now, not a hero that most people will go with. It, it, can, it can semi synergize because you do have like the Grave Chill Slow, which then lets SK get in range for his level one stun. And then the later portions of it, then he'll have the higher levels up and stun. That's going to be fine. Uh, but very unusual selection when you know there's already two heroes that if SK has any desire to epicenter in the middle of the fight, he will get disabled instantly. I guess it's, it's just never going to happen. 
because uh, you got Nightmare, you got Fiend Script, you got Crystal Maiden with a Frostbite, and now you're going to add Nature's Prophet towards the mix up. So he's going to be split pushing and trying to keep uh, SK's focus over on him while doing so. Yeah, Sand King is a decent melee support. Um, in this combo of Team Liquid, and if he's able to get some decent farm, which they're looking at a kill lane, it's Any not the greatest lead-in, but Visage with the slow, getting Sand King close enough Five to actually be able to land a Burrow remaining. Strike into an arrow, um, that's still a pretty deadly combo. He's Any hero that's still left alive after the arrow goes out is going to die to the Visage nuke. So if you're able to hit the combo, anyone's dead, and that could be a good way to get some Sand King, some early gold. He's one of those melees who definitely needs some early, early levels and some farm later on as he goes into Blink Dagger. Once he has that, he's actually a decent threat to both of the supports on Sigma and a lot of these team fights, as well as the Nature's Prophet, because Nature's Prophet, when he split pushes, has no way to be able to disable and stop the Sand King. I also want to give a shout out to the guy on the chat who uh, thought that we have matching t-shirts. Mine's a little bit darker. Mine's a v-neck. I also have a pocket. Mine's cooler in general. <laughs> Mine was purchased by Valve. That's not fair. Do I win? Do I win? You win this, this shirt contest. This the rest of your life is still a loss. It was... <laughs> Wow! Thanks, Cap. <laughs> no Life problem. judgment's coming out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm he's he's, some, he's for angry for reason, and tired, and he's been awake for a long time. <laughs> for some reason, losing losing the T-shirt contest was a serious blow to my pride. <laughs> so I needed to lash out really hard. <laughs> Damn you, Toby! You won this time. Well, as <laughs> at least you didn't have Valve go. Well, we're gonna do the documentary recording with you. Have you got a different shirt? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? What's wrong with it's, my shirt? Yeah, it's like, it's like my, I like my shirt. My shirt was nice. It's just like, but have you got a plain T-shirt? I'm like, Ten no, I don't own remaining. plain T-shirts. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's not something I, was I about have. To say, I'm like looking at the shirt, going, what's special about it? Like that's not Absolutely like a nothing. nice. That's not a nice shirt. But uh, you're right, if they're going for plain, then that's exactly. Yeah, it was very, like, can you have like a stock standard, like a like a like a normal tone T-shirt kind of thing? And we're like, I don't own one of those. <laughs> um, Five seconds I've only just moved to Germany. I don't know where to buy one of those. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's like we go shopping in America. All right, we go shopping in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we got makeup and a T-shirt, all in one big go. Um, Puck comes for Sigma. Story time over. Welcome back to the game. Um, team Puck comes up for Fader. So always, always a pleasure to watch him play the Puck. Um, and Lion's still a bad out from TC. So he's feeling that was the last one here from Soshka. With this lineup, like, I would have gone with the fourth here of the TC bad out, which is the Ten gyro hands down will be what Fader was looking to pick up there for Soshka. We'll have to go something slightly different. The OD is the last Team man from Fader. So actually feeling that even though the Beastmaster was picked up, they would still look to pick up the OD in this lineup. Yeah, we still need another uh, another carry to be able to run with Marana. Marana is not a strong uh, carry to run solo. So you're going to need something else here. OD would have still been a decent pickup. You could have seen the OD uh, very much in the safe lane with an aggressive try lane coming out from Team Liquid. Um, that easily remaining. could have been run. Or, again, depending on what the lanes, OD mid and Beastmaster Five in that safe lane. Either remaining. way works. Um, so I think that was a really smart ban out. And Team Liquid taking their time. Reserve so time. they that may have actually been the hero they were looking at. They're still obviously Ten deciding. Meanwhile, remaining. Cigna have a heavy, heavy amount of control. They still need that hard carry. Now, Life Stealer is much more of a mid game oriented hero. Bringer. Dire team pick. Sorry. That's okay. I get excited when I That's say okay. That's the, okay. He, he, Life Stealer is more of a mid game oriented hero, and I'm expecting something later out of Sigma. But of course, the puck, um, the the Nakes bomb is always deadly, and uh, is just enough pressure to be able to keep Sigma ahead and maybe push in and end the game before too long. But uh, Team Liquid's doom. Ten seconds. I'm Interesting. Remaining. I'm always happy to see it. And it's one of those heroes, too, that Five like you didn't even need to ban out the gyro now. Like Doombring is main target is the puck. You want to stop him from maneuvering around and see what go. Well, you can pick up a Doombringer. We're now going to get the big man. We bring him the centaur towards the lineup. 
Uh, I, I don't know about you, but I got a slight man crush on this guy whenever he gets played. Uh, just because he is the manliest of all men. Even to a point that he's actually not a man, he's a centaur. As long as you don't turn that man crush into, like, actually meeting centaur in person, and you, you don't act out this crush totally. No, 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 no. It's not that type of crush. He will crush you. It's not that type of crush. It'll be like saying, can you, dr can you cosplay as a centaur and then crush me with your hoof? No, <laughs> it's, it's not like that. Like, it'll be like Dre Ranger. <laughs> like, you can target me with your frost arrow. That's okay. Um... But no, with Centaur, it's, it's merely a, uh, it's a mutual respect of a man. That's what it is. Five seconds All right, fair yeah. enough. Because he is a man. Fair enough. He is like, yeah. <laughs> it's a guy that won't really... Toby, Toby respects manliness. Yes. As he, as he, he ponders you know about Centaur's manliness and starts to it's sing manly <laughs> Disney songs going through his head. Mulan was going through your head, wasn't it? No, no, it wasn't. Which but one? It, but that like, was the song, wasn't how, it? How, how would it fit for Centaur? Like, be a tour. Well, uh, you know, manly song. Well, then what song <laughs> was it, You must be swift as a warring runner. Yeah, 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 what song was it? I know there was With a song. With all the hoofs of the great stampede. <laughs> <laughs> With all the horns of a raging beard trough. Um, I don't know. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> it can be adapted. It can be adapted. That was impressive. Yeah. Good work. No, oh, that's all. That's all like on the spare at the moment too. Like I, I always thought about like releasing a um, a uh, a uh, book of songs, which was like adapted from like Dota things. It's mm -hmm. just like randomly in there. It's so, like it's so like it's it's called it's called a whole new tale. And it's it's all out there. And it's for No Tell, playing Meepo. <laughs> yeah. Cap is Toby drunk. Cap, I, I am, I'm, and no, what, no, no, I didn't even realize the last came in. <laughs> Toby is drunk and Cap is belligerent. I, I am, I am. <laughs> that's, that's the show right now. I, I never drink alcohol when I stream. I, I know, because we had our Christmas yeah, party here and here. Just Toby like, forbidden me from drinking any alcohol before I came on the cast. Yes, you should never, party. you should never cast when you're drunk. I, I, I don't get drunk, Toby. Like and you still were like, no drinking. I was like, mother. Don't I don't I don't care if you get drunk or not. All I know is that when you have a couple of bits of alcohol, <laughs> anything can possibly happen. And like normally we can keep our uh, our our uh, uh, controversial material um, in check. So it, it it does it doesn't really go like full on kind of scale. But when you go drunk and cast, man, like I, Illusion. I did it back in Australia. Things uh, are said, regrets are made. Yes, yes, that's that's literally how it goes, man. Things can't be taken back. Anything I have ever done online that I have regretted, I have normally done after drinking. It's it's just that simple. It's just that simple. Alcohol should be done in controlled environments. <laughs> And not when you have access to social networks. So in other words, in Russia. In Russia. Oh man, hey, that's a control. That's not a controlled environment. Because no one speaks your language, so you're good to. No, no. Actually, a lot those. of people. A lot of people in. Um, well, I have never been. Actually, I, the only time I've been to Russia was when I got food poisoning in uh, the food court at the uh, airport in Moscow. Um, before, when I was on my way to Ukraine, that was the only time I've been in Russia, and that technically can't count. Right. Very well. But in Ukraine, what? a lot of people do speak English. Not amazingly well, but they do speak English. Well, Sigma are winning their lanes, apparently, as yeah. we see a stair step of gold and experience down the way. We've got a defensive tri lane where I was expecting an aggressive one. They're going up against the Nature's Prophet, which that's an easy kill if they can ever actually get the initiation properly. Uh, Doom, meanwhile, is abandoning the off lane in favor of jungle. I really expected uh, him to be fighting up against Furion. I mean, it's difficult, but if you're able to get an armor or a regen creep, Doom can 1v1 versus uh, Furion yeah. decently well. He did get really good farm, and I was expecting an aggressive tri lane where they try and shut down the... Uh, well, I suppose Centaur... I, well, actually, no. It's a s the Centaur is their hardest carry here. You shouldn't fight aggro tri. You might as well just let Sigma play their little lineup out until it starts faltering about 30, 35 minutes in. Yeah. So, okay. I'm uh, it's S Sigma is going to be really annoyed with it. So even if it's not the build from Nature's Prophet. Like, this is a Nature's Prophet that he wanted to. 
Like his build was all for Doom. If, if he was thinking, oh, I just have to keep on blocking up the pull points of Fluff and stuff, as well as the Doombringer, as well as way too sexy, he would have brought more clarity to that bottom lane. But because yeah. he didn't, like Miguel is out of mana, he's Radiant's got boots, so sure he can run away from attack. some people. He can run away from that initiation from both Fluff and stuff, as well as from way too. But when this kind of stuff happens, he's dead. Like, yeah. this should be first blood. I'm seeing a rotation towards middle lane at the same time, but it's going to be too far away. It's bottom lane. Burrow's trying to start with yes. arrow combination. He's got Soul Assumption leveled up before Grave Chill. So the burst damage is there from Fluff and stuff to ensure the kill. And Nate just probably pushing up the daisies. Yep, that nuking damage. Centaur has only played 10 Pro Dota 2 matches, uh, lasting longer than 35 minutes. He's 2 and 8 in those games. Yeah. yeah. Because most, uh, most of the time you'll win before you hit that yeah, point. Yeah, most of the time when Centaur is picked up, he's like an aggressive tri lane with some sort of harder carry in the safe lane. Right? It's not picked up as your one. So this is a very hardcore push line. Oh, nightmare. Out Sigma. Fate is going to orb damage into Bulb, but with the Brain Sap, it's not really enough damage to kill a Bulb with the DD rune. If they had another Ooh. jump in, if they had another jump over, then it would have been enough, but. They at least forced the Beastmaster to do absolutely nothing because he's just getting his bottle yeah. in. That, that Feta, he may have actually misplayed that a little bit. If he had just run forward, instead of getting his positioning via uh, Illusory Orb, yeah. had just run forward and then used Illusory Orb in, in order to get in front of Bulba in those last couple of hits, like yeah. that sort of p extra positioning, instead of just being on top of him mm -hmm. with that Illusory Orb, he, he probably could have picked it up. He would have had to dive tier one, but it's worth it when you have a double damage rune like that. The, the little extra positioning is key. Yeah. Man, Soshka, right now, it's so far ahead in farm. TC is 11 for 6 on this bottom lane. And that's it. That's that's number one versus number one of Sigma. And Soshka is 26 for 5. Puck, even though he might have uh, missed the chance to get the kill on Bulba, he's 24 for 13 up against a 10 for 0. CS-wise, Sigma already, uh, like four minutes in, they're 1,000 gold ahead while they're a kill behind. The experience as well. Because Liquid are trying to make the most. And like, this is even running a Devour Doom inside the jungle. Like he's trying, and now also picking up a bottle. He's trying to pull in the extra cash from there. Nightmare over on the SK. Way too. He's going to have no luck here at all. Bar a strike or not, he'll never find a kill. Uh, but for me, it's like Sigma, like they know what they're going to wait for. Nate just Prophet. He's already died once. Mm, that's, that's a bit of a shame. But when he's ready, he'll TP top lane. They'll take out the tier one tower. Centaur rotates bottom lane. And then the nightmare begins. Yeah, Centaur is getting pretty much perfect CS. It's uh, when you're seven x in your lane slightly above that, you're pretty much getting perfect CS. You're not missing anything. Part of the reason is because Centaur is also farming up um, the hard camp at the same time because of uh, double edge. He's sitting in this lane all by himself. I don't like Tranquil Boots on the new Centaur. Like, it used to be a really good uh, boots for Centaur to pick up, but now with the new change in the boots, um, making them more combat oriented, sitting in lane like there's, he's not actually getting any uh, much of that regen mainly because he's not actually spending any time not attacking things. He's always bouncing back and forth between that and the jungle. I much prefer um, something like um, if you're gonna go for one centaur here, maybe strength treads um, isn't necessarily a bad idea. Phase boots for the positioning is really important, but. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose there's still cheap boots for you to be able to rely on, um, get some regen up, and uh, work towards that fast blink dagger, which is what I'm expecting here. They really need the initiation to follow up Puck. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one, man. Strange threads and going into something like a Vanguard would have worked out so much better. But then again, also at the same time, it's like, what do you want to do to prepare for the later portion of this game? Like, what should be Centaur's next item? Should, be, should he be the initiator with a blink dagger? Do we just look to see him go like mass old tank? kind of style as well. Like, what's the goal right now for, for Soshka? Who is his primary hero to kill off? Does he try and pick up the Beastmaster before he can spawn up? Radiant and Blink Dagger to go... Actually, what did he attack. just buy? He bought... <laughs> Son of a... Uh, may we farm, may we farm, may we farm. <laughs> yeah. Hand of Midas. Fade up, bottom um, lane. Dream Calls available. He's going to catch out of the Barra Strike, actually. Holds way to, holds faded there. He is going to trigger up the Dream Call. Jumps in, picks up TC. Way too sexy. The Nova from the Crystal Main will take him out. Trying to hide inside the Sandstorm. And what a good rotation down from Sigma. They now have a huge advantage on this bottom lane. The first rotation down from Fader was 100% successful. If he gets the last tip in this tower as well, he's going to come bloody close to having his full Blink Dagger up and running seven minutes into this game. Yeah, this is really, really bad. You're supposed to 
like Beastmaster should be rotating with the puck as well. So that was a little problematic. They gave away so many kills there. Now lo losing a tier one tower. This is a huge jump start. This is the kind of lead you need when you go for this kind of uh, farming centaur lineup. Um, I don't actually disagree with the Midas here because levels are really important for Paris. He wants to be able to get to a point where he has those high levels of return where he can't actually be targeted. That's the one situation where a one centaur may be effective in a pushing lineup because you go up to a tower, you tank it, you're dealing damage back to the tower, and anything that attacks you from the enemy side is also going to be taking a lot of damage. So um, that's the one way I do kind of like uh, Midas here is less about the farm and more about the levels. Yeah. And it's... It's going to be a rough ride, and uh, I, I said he's a man. He's a man with the glove. But then again, so was Michael Jackson. So was the guy from uh, Of Mice and Men. Who else wore gloves? Um, there was uh, a guy in... Robin of Loxley always had like like the gloves, like a little readjust kind of thing. You know the guy I'm talking, referring to? No, oh, I don't okay. actually. There I was a guy in uh, Of Mice and Men who um, he was like the spoiled guy, and he always, uh, the thing was, he always wear, wore one glove with like lotion in it, <laughs> and it was his soft hand. And I think you know what the soft hand was. <laughs> no! For. No, 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 we're not explaining that for anybody to try and actually Listen, understand. Listen, Mice and Men is it's classy. Um, looks like Nature's Prophet just killed off the Marana. With his ultimate. With his ultimate down the bottom line. Yeah, it was, uh, it was just like... Oh, uh, it, was, it was Puck leading with oh, the initiation. Trouble. trouble. He just got a kill. Pass will come in as well. Frostbite on Koi for trying to keep him nice away. Deny. And they denied him. Fader comes in and gets a perfect denial. After he gets the kill on the bottom lane, now the jump in from Fader with the Blink Dagger. All damage over the top. All is going to hell right now for Liquid. Centaur will use the double edge to take the last portion of the life from Doombringer. So not only does Sigma get the denial out, which keeps Liquid, even though the scoreboard says 2-5, to five, technically it's 1-5, to five, but Sigma rotate in, they get more kills, and they get sent off. Mr. Hand of Midas with those kills as well. All right, Toby, I'm going to go ahead and draw on the map. What are you drawing Signs on the map? that you may have overextended. <laughs> if you are anywhere in this area with all of those towers up, you may have overextended. Hey, you, 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 know, the, you know there's a way to do this? There's a way to do this while doing it physically on the map. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you go anywhere, anywhere... Wait, wait, we're, we're going to end uh, cut up here. Oh, and we cut up here. Now. Oh, yeah. If you go past that line, sorry. You deserve to die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, like, the best thing that could have happened was they got the Nature's Profit and then fed two kills. But even that got denied to them. Top Good rotations by, by Feta, though. He's tearing it up this game. He is absolutely destroying Liquid with this Blink Dagger before the 10 minute mark. Now he's got a Haste Rune. He's about to pick up Treads, so who will actually have a little bit of survivability plus a little bit more attack damage. Uh huh. And, and look at him come for back the in. jump. Jump straight back in. Silence on way to all profit all to combine up with it. And he phase shifts out. And there's your Fiend's Grip. The Familiars won't be able to drop down. Oh, actually, they, they, they do. The support comes in from Bulba with the Raw to stop it. With the Brain Sap, though, Nova. Not enough time. Frostbite on Bulba. And look at CM. Centaur runs her away. There's the answer to the movement speed problem. Fade, however, now he's the one in trouble. They try and use the run ulti. Pat's going to be there. Try. He attempted the denial, but Doombringer does swing the blade. Stun. Ah, oh, he can't get one more attack! Oh. Bulba turned back in there too. I thought for a moment if that stun didn't last long enough from the arrow from TC, there could have been a return kill. It looks like Liquid attack. can keep themselves in in that fight, but they'll still lose their tier 1 tower on the top lane. And we just went for pro head of minus number 2 with Nature's Prophet. Well, they... Yeah, they might have just thrown <laughs> their bit of their advantage here, especially with the uh, whole buyback coming out from Bane. Mm-hmm. And then dying again? That's not good. Hood is up on uh, Centaur, though. So he's beginning to get that big, tanky mess. So that, that does answer our question, the way he wanted to go with this one. Like, you go with the Hood. He didn't go for the Vanguard. There's just a lot of life points. But you need that when you're going to continuously do what he's doing, which is spamming out this double edge. Because mm -hmm. without, the, without the life regeneration, you just can't keep doing that during a fight and expect yeah. to live. Yeah, there's only two ways to run this. Initiation with Blink Dagger and winning team fights, 
or just running into a tower and letting the tower kill itself on your return. Yep. And all the any other enemy heroes Illusion. just need to be tanky enough. And uh, with an early pipe, and uh, who's going to be going the mech? Are we going to see a mech? CM is going to be going the mech already with the phase boots up on Poss. I'm surprised I don't see the hand of Myas up on him as well. Guess that mech up is a little bit slower. Um, Marana just tossing out some arrows, but not really finding much while Doombringer. Radiance He's up with 1,800 gold attack. now on the Doom. So we're, like, now I ask you another question. Okay, the question is already answered. I don't even need to, need to ask the question. There's going to be a drum built up here for yeah. the Doombringer. Stable item. For uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure it's going to be enough, though, because you still need to have that surprise initiation to come from the Doombringer. Uh, smoke and phase boost won't really be enough. That's why I, I always subscribe to Fierce Build with this. Um, with the face boost and having uh, having Shadow Blade very early on. So you hit once and then you just come up with the Doom. And it, it gives no reaction time. Like, you, you just can't react to it. You will get doomed almost instantly. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to bypass the extra attack, then yeah, you can actually make it, in, in fact, instantly. By the, name, by the way, the name of the guy was Curly. Curly? Just, yeah, his, that was his name in the book. Somebody Fantastic. just tweeted me that. Centaur's dead. Yep. That's issue. But he bought Blade Mount that's free died. So yeah, she lost no money whatsoever. That was a quick tap in, pick up Blade Mount and get out. Ah, uh, that's great, but he's still going to have issues with uh, Doom. Now, Doom is most of the time going to be focusing on Puck, but still, Centaur gets Doom, that's still not a... Uh, Blade mail that's going to be activated. Yeah, but if, like, yeah, he said, like, if, if he focuses Centaur, then Puck does his thing. Like, in the middle lane, TC destroyed. Fiend's Group is still available, so no one's going to TP for that one. While Miguel, as well as Pass in the bottom lane, they're pushing the tier 2 tower out. So this push on the top on the top tier 1 tower had to be cancelled. Koifa comes in. The tower is not within deny range just yet, but with Bane, Fiend's Group up on Koifa, they must bring in the extra TP support. They're going to bail out the Fiend's Group. That sprout's not going to last long, because Bulba is just going to, like, yeah, jump out. Um, while Faya's jumping in on the SK. The Familiars can't finish the job up on the top lane because Soshka's back up here again. It's, it's, it's like Sigma is poking in every single like hole that Liquid have. Bottom and now the tower on the bottom lane denied. finally gets denied. Dyer's Just gonna let that one slide. I, 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 I use the word to hole. Farm I could have I could have gone orifice, but I said up. hole. <laughs> you can always manage to make things worse, Toby. <laughs> Like, even my stuff that I say, you always somehow to manage to make them worse. I reach a stopping point, and Doe just goes to that next see, level. See, no, but I, see, if you had alcohol, you would have actually, like, gone the next level as no, well. No, no, is why we I wouldn't have. Down. I don't let myself be inhibited like that. Ah, uh, this, this is the ultimate marine. Like, I can, I can have a beer, I can wake up the next day, no, and then I can, I can run 50, anything, la 50 laps of the oval, 100 jumping jacks, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and I still got time to yell at my no, staff sergeant. No, if, if anything, that's anti-marine. Not getting blindly drunk is... Uh, Trouble bottom lane. Miguel said, bar a strike, and he's so close to having the money for his necro ball. <laughs> he's giving his... Oh, he got him! He just got it before? Oh, wow. Just before he died! Teleport, teleport, Bulba run. Wait, who's now also trying to run away. Bro, nice bro strike right at the end of the coil, but uh, teleport, maybe. No, but. Oh! Sucks. Short to be way Sucks too. To be way too. Uh, definitely does. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one of those ties where you're like, oh, I, I tried, I tried, and now I'm stuck, and now I know things aren't going to go right for me. But maybe I can get out, and then the Crystal Maiden arrives with the Nova. Without that Nova, there wouldn't have been enough damage to finish the job. We also start looking at new items coming up for Sigma. As we said before, like Necro Book, it was purchased up by Prophet before he ended up dying. Uh, but to add to the mix up for Fader, jumps in towards the middle lane, orb damages TC, and jumps away before he can even possibly get doomed up by Doom. Uh, but he's building into Scythe Device. We have, a, we have an ultimate orb already starting up here on Puck. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to reason out if how how late Centaur can go. Like we saw that stat earlier about you know how Centaur really falls off. We start getting past a certain point, uh, but we've never really seen a one Centaur necessarily. Like an aggressive trialing, yes, or maybe even um, some sort of uh, defensive trialing, but with some other core to be able to back it up. 
Here, this is like just Centaur. And possibly the farm, like if he starts building in a strength return, obviously, like you start getting that 50% bonus of the damage. Maybe he just becomes so big that it's hard for Liquid to be able to target him at all. And he's still able to do decent auto attack damage. But they really should be starting. Oh, it might be enough. It might be enough. The Sans Fader, he needs one more attack. He's going to get doomed up as well. It's going to cost him his life to do this. It's going to cost him his life. Prophet, like, look at that. He's pinging out and saying, please TP in here to deny me. Or does he not have not enough life points? Crystal Maiden has picked up the Beastmaster in the meantime, back over in the middle lane. He's good. Fader, yeah, he, you're right, he is. He's going to bottle up. He's away yeah. to safety. He tanked up the Doom, which means now T1 Tower in middle lane is toast. So if we had instant replay, this is where we would go back and watch Mad. Mad had a really good play. He dodged, um, he slept Poss in order to save him from the Star Storm that would have killed Crystal Maiden. And then he turned and used his um, grip on the Beastmaster, which successfully picked him off. So not only did he save his ally, but he's, he uh, picked off the Beastmaster as well in one swift motion. It was a really strong play by him. Maybe we'll get you your, your instant replay feature. With our 2014 plans. Nice. It's on, it's on the list of things the cap wants and things the cap wants, cap gets. I've already got that. that Jump speaking way too. The company. Oh, we missed the orb. Yeah. With the orb attack, he might have even committed a little bit more than that, but without the orb hitting, there's not much yeah, point. Yeah, actually, without his ultimate, I don't think he actually could have killed him, even if he did hit his orb. Mm. If he had his ultimate, maybe he would have gone for it, but. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you right now, with Centaur walking around, I assume it's gonna be an AC coming up on him. I just how scary is this team fight now gonna be I, for I Sigma? honestly don't think he should go see AC. What, I, what I think th with the maxed out return, I think he should go a reaver into straight heart and he should walk into towers and watch them die. <laughs> like that, that like, evil. <laughs> like I think that's how they should be running this. Um, he's already got enough uh, spell resistance. That a lot of the nukes coming out of Liquid, like even if they threw everything at Centaur, he still would probably live, considering um, the amount of health he would be getting from Reaver. It makes his, uh, you know, hit whatever they call it, effective HP or whatever. He's actually sitting in more about like 3,000 health at that point. Because he's already got plenty of armor from Blade Mail. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Miguel is currently uh, starting the solo Roshan attempt. Uh, with his fresh level 3 Necro units. I was about to say, I don't think this will be a temp. With Necro Book level 3, he uh, should be able to pick it up here. Yep. And, and there's, there's no trees. way that anyone can know what the hell's going on here either. Yeah. We might we might see what your wish is going to be for Centaur. Because he's got 4.2k gold right now and just bet. It's a Radiance. Oh, okay. It's a Radiance Centaur. Okay. Uh, now, he's still squishy enough that he can actually be popped by the nukes, but this gives him a lot more offensive cap capabilities. Now he just builds into a little bit more survivability, maybe an early bit booster after this, and he just, again, runs at things and hope they die. It's a nice way of looking at things. That Prophet TP bottom lane. Look at Fader coming down here too. Again, Liquid attempt to attack on a tier one tower of Sigma. And again, Sigma apply the pressure instantly onto tier three towers of Liquid making him so fearful of doing this. Like, Doombringer is currently back here trying to fend with a Shadow Blade, so he does still subscribe to the item build that I hoped he would do. Uh, but this top tower, Later. it's not going down. Is oh. he? Doom? Okay, Koifa, how long, how much damage can you do? Oh, he locked him in together! The arrow will connect, he left some Necro units behind, but Fader... Oh, that was, that was almost too easy. That was almost too easy for Liquid. That was also a Centaur ult down. It's a uh, high level now. It's only a 90 second cooldown at level 2. Um, he used it to try and help uh, Furion get out, I think. It's amazing how fast Centaur can farm he, he really does. He farms very, very quickly because he instantly bursts down the waves with uh, double edge. And then he can use that momentum because he's tanky enough to move into the jungle and pop another one. And, and, another and, one. and like, even the mana cost. Like, it's, it's just pure health cost. Yeah. But he's using the hoof stomps even more. Whoop, fluff and stuff. Miguel, Fiend Strip. They're using this. There's no. There's nothing that. Well, actually, Doom's got a. has got a. Um, a net there, which he possibly could have used. But they win. They trigger the ulti. Mirana ulti as well. 
Going to go Sentry Wards. They're looking for Koi for the turn around, and they see him. Nightmare, Frostbite. The roar will go out right now on the Crystal Maiden. The Nightmare's going to save him from the last point of the damage. He's still got Nova and Ulti, and Pat's going to let it rip, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough damage to get a kill. Miguel leaving himself away. Faye's going to come and join the fight. Miguel will let the Aegis him on the trigger. Dream Call over towards Bulba. Centaur's finished up the Radiance now, and he's coming to join the fight. The sun goes over on Bol of Asoshka is nowhere near anybody to actually kill him off. While it's way too has been hunted by Treants, but he's also too fast. He'll get himself away to safety. And it's so important he doesn't die right now. If Fader catches up oh, to him... Oh, he may get picked off now. Look at his money. He's like 50 gold away. Oh, no. He's 50 gold away. Save he's not going to get it. They're going to save him. Fader jumps down. The Necro units kill him oh. off. Nature's Prophet will get the kill on this one. And now they're going to push the tier 2 tower in the top lane. Well, they brain sap down Necro units, attack him up as well. There's no familiar resummon for 70 Radiance seconds. Tower Mid tower is getting pressured. Top tier 2 tower is getting pressured. And SK just lost his goal for the Blink Dagger. And Centaur has his Radiance. And I, I mean, I would really think about picking up a, a bit booster just with the amount of armor yep. and the amount of... Uh, Okay, already jump down. Sans is on the doom. They've got to pick him up before he, he gets e dart. They do. No ulti off from him. There's a nightmare again over on TC. Just buying time for Sashka to get in close. But the top tier 2 tower goes down. And Signal just rotate in towards the mid tier 2 tower and bring it down. This is this is such great execution from Sigma. Look at even the... I mean, we haven't even brought up the golden experience advantage. Like, we know it's been going their way for a while. But 17,000 gold and 14,000 experience... I didn't think it was that much going that way, even though it did feel pretty damn big. Yeah, I mean... Oh, they got Dream Call again. It's over on two. Fiend's Crip is on Bulba. Fluff is up. He's got no damage that can stop this. Even then, coming in, Soska just drops the hammer. Or in this case, the Ox. You know, I was uh, hoping that Liquid would put up a better fight so I could see how Sigma planned to utilize this Centaur, but Centaur could have been any other hero. He could have been any other hero. <laughs> this was just Feta just destroying all of Liquid. Uh-huh. It's, it's just crazy. It really is just crazy. Like, the amount that he shut down Bulba. Koifa's running in here. Frost bitten up. It's again another ulti which never goes off. The epicenter does some decent damage, but then the return is even higher. Pass does it in style with the Nova coming down. Profit ult, not enough to get the, de to get, to get the kill, but this is... I almost want to don't. I don't want to call it, but it does feel it. Yeah, it looks like should. it's GG going the way of Sigma. Yeah, with one rags down, down and that big of an advantage. 3.8k goal now on Centaur. You, he can still have his heart after picking up the Radiance. <laughs> yep. I mean, after three different towers go down in a row, a couple of hero kills, double blink daggers as well. Now that Hand of Mises was still running that entire time. Sight the vice on Feta. Reva, 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 Reva. It's going to be the heart for Soshka. He is just so big. And AC gets purchased up for the Nature's Prophet. He's pulled in that much money that he's the one with the AC. And they call it. Yep. Wait, well, he doesn't want this to, just to keep on going. They see there's way too many life points. Maybe Bulba can get one kill last kill here. Him, oh, kill yourself on him, Bulba. Kill yourself on him. Oh. And you <laughs> see that? Bulba was like... At a certain point, Bobo would have had just like walk away because he's like, I, I can't do anything else. Yep. Like, I will kill myself attacking you. Return is a painful thing to play up against, man. But uh, Team Liquid, they at least get to take fourth position. It uh, wasn't the easiest thing to do out of the Championship League. It was a, uh, a, a competition. It's a competition. It's not over yet. It'll end on this Sunday. Uh, but with uh, their group, which they came out of, they were in there with Speed, Navi, Mouseboards, back when they used to be the older Mouseboards lineup, uh, as well as Team Dignitas. Uh, they managed to triumph through that one in the second position over the top of Navi as well. And now we go into our last matchup. That's what will be coming your way. It'll be Alliance going up against Speed Gaming. Not to come up today, it'll be happening at 13 CEST this Sunday right here on the Daily Motion channel. If you can't find it on Daily Motion, I know you can go to a wonderful website which might be something along the lines of joindata.com, uh, which links the uh, Daily Motion live stream. So it's very easy to find all that kind of jazz. Want to give a big shout out to Cap as well, powering through the night. Go me. Go have a good sleep, man. Go have a good sleep. And we'll see you back here again tomorrow at 1 p.m.
Yay! No early mornings for G League tomorrow. <laughs> for the mo- Just the day after. Yes, yes, the, and the day after that. And the day after that. Uh, no, the day after At that, least I know you'll be here. The day after that, we're doing something completely different. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that on Friday. Uh, yeah, but definitely uh, check us all out. Dota Capitalist is his Twitter and Facebook. Toby One Dota is mine. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on our other, our other live streams next time. Stay tuned. I say stay tuned for that, but really, we'll see you next time.